My, my, my. What have we done? What's up, freaks? Your pal Al here, and today we are out at Port Orleans Riverside Resort over here at uh, Walt Disney World for one reason and one reason only. Well, first of all, we got a place to stay here, so we're going to be hanging out. And also, we're going to be eating at Boat Rights, an awesome place to eat, get some really good food. So without further ado, let's freak out. Yeah. Let's freak out. Please stand clear of the doors. Inside the hotel room, it's uh, decorated pretty cool. I like the window dressing. Really cool. Gives it a royal room feeling. We got the boy here eating vignettes and on his laptop <laughs> at the table here. And right above him, look at this. This is really cool. Prince Adam, Prince Aladdin, Prince Eric, and Prince Charming. All hanging out. Really nice mirror. Awesome light fixture. Then over here, they have another one with Prince Eugene, Prince Naveen, Prince Philip, and the Prince. And we all know who the Prince is. The Prince is Snow White's Prince, who had no name. He was the Prince, basically his name. Pretty cool TV with a nice outline built in, and it's fully built. It's not just something like a facade. It's actually fully built. And it also comes with a coffee maker, which we have been making a lot of progress with. This custom-made dresser that they have in all the rooms. Pretty neat stuff. Also has a convenient refrigerator, which, again, we've been really taking advantage of. You can put your clothes in the drawers if you want to. And then they have ice, which we've gotten earlier. Nice little ice tray. Some highballs. Make a couple drinks. Over here is an awesome thing. Now this picture is not just any picture of Tiana. No, no, no. It moves. I know there's a lot of reflection in here. Let's see if we can get rid of that reflection. It's kind of like a 3D holographic photo. It's really, really cool. It's a little too dark though, possibly. Not a lot of reflection off of it because it's got a glass pane, but it's really cool. Over here across from the bed, they have basically a collage of all the princesses. We have Snow White here. A little Mermaid. Otherwise known as Ariel. We have Belle. And of course, Rapunzel. We have the Sleeping Beauty Princess. Put the name of her in the comments below. I want to make this kind of like a game. And then we have, of course, the Beloved. Cinderella, and there's Jasmine. Really awesome stuff. Over each bed frame, they have this really cool mosaic behind of each one, see? Really cool looking, right? Press a button on the side, and it illuminates. Shooting off fireworks and whatnot. Really cool stuff. And the other one as well. Really cool stuff. Being that Disney placed the whole entire Port Orleans resort under the care and guidance of the Princess and the Frog, we have Tiana pretty much everywhere. Over each bed post is a Tiana plaque. Built into all the carpets is another carpet. Look at that. And then it goes into here. Mind the mess, but this is the bathroom. Hi guys. Complete with double mirrors. Nice fixture. Right on top, you hang all your stuff here. Ironing board with an iron. This is really cool. Look at that. Does that look like something to you? Hold on. 
that, that just just water comes out. Just, just water comes out. No, no genie. Just water. In the bathroom, it's nice and uh, nice and quaint in here. You know, even the toilet paper roll has fancy stuff on it. Got the fancy towel racks. The golden shower. It's a golden shower. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Also, a golden shower rod. Something to make you feel a little bit more royal, if you will. Really cool stuff. Tile all the way around. Good ceiling. Nice little mosaic in the middle. Got a nice setup here. Check it out. Body wash, conditioner, shampoo. All lined up, ready to go. Rocking. And this is blue galaxy granite. If you need to hang your jacket, I got a nice custom-made uh, little carriage coat hanger. Really cool thing. Look at this. Nice. Pretty. Interesting. It's awesome. Also, right above, all around the entire room, they got this nice little layout. Got Chip from Beauty and the Beast. It's got the rats from Cinderella. Fairy Godmothers from Sleeping Beauty. Even. The genie makes an appearance. And it's all the way around the whole entire room. So that's the room in a nutshell. We're gonna get dressed and get ready to go head over to Boat Rights in a few minutes. So uh, give us a few, and then we'll be on our way. Go check out this awesome restaurant. Cause I'm hungry. Are you? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right, now that we're all funky and fancy free, look at that. We're gonna go eat. Ahoy there. is a themed restaurant. It's based on building boats. As far as I know, it's got a whole bunch of tools back there up on the walls. A skeletal frame of a huge boat sitting right above you while you eat. It's really cool. Plus I got the best shrimp and grits you could ever taste on the face of this planet. I'm gonna let you know right now. Seriously. If you haven't tried it yet, you have to get over here. Yeah. How are you doing today? Good. Yes, always. We love boat rides. It's a good place to eat. <laughs> not your first time here. Yeah. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> so here's the menu. Just a glimpse at it real quick. What we're going to be getting tonight though, will be the General Fulton's Prime Rib. And we're going to also hit up the Deep South Shrimp and Grits. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I already know what's coming. But you're about to find out. The starters, we got a uh, paloma, which I'm tempted to taste. And then this cornbread they bring out to your table. And then the wife got a mule. Which mule was it? A Moscow mule. If you ever see a Moscow mule, be sure to milk it because it has alcohol in it. She knows what she's doing. Look at it with the butter. A paloma. Very good. 
Very big. Reminds me of like grape fruit juice. Without all it. But it's good. It's pretty good, I like it. Try this paloma yet? I'm gonna try the paloma. The fried green tomatoes are actually pretty good. I like them. It's so good it woke me up. It, wo it woke him up. All right, so we have shrimp and grits right here. Cheese pizza, macaroni and cheese, and of course the fabled prime rib. Looks good. I'll tell you how it is in a minute. These shrimp pack some punch. Holy crap. It's spicy. Why do I always end up with the spicy it's stuff? good for you. What do you think shrimp and grits was? Yeah. You see how she is? Holy crap, that was good. And the missus is still working on the steak. He's almost done. You're gonna eat some more. You're gonna eat some more. You're gonna keep feeding you and feeding. All right. Sitting at the table, check that out. Right above us. It'll be a good sturdy boat. And saws that they have hanging about. The looks of things, it looks like they're still working on it. Got a toolbox right there. And they didn't even take the saw out of the wood. Still got the clamps on too. Guys, <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> right down the way, there's another little spot you can eat at. Well, it's actually several little spots. You can take your pick, stand in line, get your food. Got ourselves a mocha iced coffee and something called a magic cookie bar, which we will discover in just a few minutes. But first, we're gonna look out in the water and wish we had a boat. That sweet, sweet mocha iced coffee. No, oh, sorry. Back to the view. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> All right. So we came back to the hotel to try out the magic cookie bar. I don't know what this is. But it's got a whole mess load of stuff that I shouldn't be eating. But I'm gonna eat it anyway. Look at this. Let's see. It's got a lot of caramel in it. It's good though. Also, since it's my wife's birthday, she got this make your own birthday cupcake ordeal going on here that we got from boat rights we're gonna put it together see how she does Ready? and here it is she did a pretty good job look at that That's so cool. make a wish she's gonna make a wish i'm gonna have to pause this and restart it <laughs> she's taking forever what will she wish for we do not know <laughs> maybe on the next episode we'll find out <laughs> Avocado. Avocado. <laughs> Go back to sleep. She's got it. <laughs> Wish to work for Disney. Oh wait. Yay! Yay! What'd you wish? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh well, yeah, that's true. You shouldn't say anything. Daddy. Look at that. That is a yummy cupcake. Yes, it is. The corridors look beautiful at night too. All lit up. With their special lighting and such. Look at that, huh? Very pretty. Let's go see what's popping off in town. Thank you, sir. Only my son would be playing a video game and has a profile picture. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
in the cup of the sea. Don't forget about standing in line for a while. And the piano falls. Everybody take your drinks and hold them up in the air. I think you'll definitely agree with me that this place is jumping at night. You don't want to play arcade games, you could go watch a good old Bob put on a good show. We're gonna hang out a little bit more outside though. Right here they got the campfire like they do at all the other places. This is the campfire on the bayou. Looks like a lot of fun. But we missed it. It's 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. and right now it's 11.30 at night. And the pool looks majestic at night. But the pool is only open till 11 p.m. and it's 11.30, so we're not going in. But that looks nice, doesn't it? Pretty. I don't know if you can see this old tree right here, but if you look at the plaque right in front of us, it says, on Earth Day, April 22nd, 1991, this majestic live oak was placed in its new home before you. This oak and its companion at the entrance of a Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside each weighed 85 tons and were transplanted from a wooded location 13 miles away. Cypress boxes 22 foot square were constructed around and beneath each oak and after months of preparation the transportation took three days. Old Man Island was then constructed around the oak as you see it now pretty cool and all of this was constructed after that tree was put in so that's it for this Florida Freaks adventure if you enjoyed it leave the thumbs up and remember to subscribe and notify that way you'll see more videos just like this one and liking the video will tell me that you enjoyed it and I should do more of these things We've had our freak out, and now it's time to pass out. We'll see you real soon. Boom. I'm gonna be famous on them YouTube.